mga kashigaling, kung bago ka palang sa channel ko, don't forget to like and subscribe to Shigaling Vlog. Shigaling Vlog. Okay, so um, for today's vlog, fresh na fresh, pag-uusapan natin ang kakasend lang na email ni YouTube. This goes out to every single content creators in the world. Kung monetize ni channel mo, for sure na-receive mo to. And of course, tulad ko, tagtaka ka rin kung anong ibig sabihin nito, anong gusto mo ipahiwati ni YouTube at bakit parang may additional thing thing na kailangan gawin. For that, sabi sa email, upcoming tax changes to your YouTube earnings. So, ginawa ko lang siya today or kanina lang. Yeah. Ginawa ko siya kanina and I made this video para may guide sa ating small time YouTubers or sa kapwa ko YouTubers and for us to identify para malaman natin kung ano, bakit at paano paano nang tayo mag-earn ng, ng income ngayong itatax na tayo ni YouTube how does it work and all that so yan yan uh, may video ako shortly kung paano ko ginawa in step-by-step -step process ng ating pag-fill up sa form. So, everyone received this email no, sa mga kapareho ko nang monetize ang channel. So, sabi ni YouTube sa kanilang email na na-receive natin recently na ang mga content creators ay required na bawasan. Babawasan tayo ng taxes, US taxes mula sa revenue or income na nage-generate natin sa US news. So, hindi naman every single revenue na makukuha natin mababawasan na. So, what is it's trying to say is mababawasan tayo may deduction US taxes dahil ito sa US views. Okay. Mangyayari ito ngayong taon, mag-start siya mga June 2021. So, ang unang ginawa ko, the first thing I did, so, inintindi ko tong email, nimay-imay ko yung detalye and all that. So, for today's video, meron tayong tatlong topic. And, tong tatlong topic na to, i-cover nito lahat ng katanungan mo sa isip mo. Kasi, tanong ko din yan nung una ko na-receive yung email. So, First and foremost, ano ang gagawin ko? So, we're not really particular sa taxes. Second is, bakit nangyayari ito? So, i-identify natin yung dahilan. Bakit all of a sudden, tinatax na tayo. Dati naman, wala namang ganyan. In fact, ang galing nga ng mga ibang content creators kasi every single income they generate is all theirs. Kanilang kadila yun. Walang deductions, walang anything. And number three, ano nang mangyayari sa earnings ko? So, all three questions na to, itatakal natin in this video. So, let me start off by completing the necessary form. So, if you're watching this video, you can also go to Google AdSense and we can do it together. Let's do this!
And yun na nga mga kasyeni, after kong i-fill up yung form, um, W8 Ben nga pala yung kinumpleto ko kasi individual tayo. Hindi tayo business and we're not a resident in the US, kaya W8 Ben. So please keep that in mind. W8 Ben yung type of form na kukumpituin natin sa Google AdSense. After completing the form, i-email tayo ni AdSense. Coming from Google naman to. Send sila ng email at doon na magkakaalaman kung ilang percent ng tax yung i-deduct sa'yo. Depende kasi yun sa, ano, sa earnings mo. Depende yun sa revenue mo month over month. Ngayon, kung, kung hindi mo na ibigay yung tax information na hinihingi ni, ni YouTube until May 31, 2021, mag ka up to 24% of your total earnings worldwide. So, yung, yung dahilan kung bakit ni Real Court ang i-fill up yung info na to is for us to be deducted with taxes sa US views. US views lang naman to, mga kasinaling. Pero kung hindi mo nagawa ang nire-require YouTube until the said time frame, until that May 31st, 2021, worldwide yung deduction sa'yo. Yan ang masaklap pa, 24% yung i-deduct na tax. So, it is better to complete the form now. Ibigay mo na yung tax information na hinihingi sa'yo para wala ng problema. Diba? Kasi it's a big deduction worldwide total earnings. So, hindi lang siya for the month of March earning. It's your total earnings. So, kung matagal ka ng content creator at matagal nang nag-earn ang channel mo from the beginning, it will be deducted. 24% ng, percent ng total earnings mo yung mababawas sa'yo. So, it's important, mga kasingaling, it's important. Bigay mo na yung hinihingi as soon as possible. Now, for the second topic, bakit nangyayari ito? So, um, sabi dito sa email na nalanggap natin, responsibilidad kasi ni Google ayon sa chapter 3 ng US Internal Revenue Code na kunin ang tax information sa creators na monetize na. Creators na monetize na at nag earn ng revenue outside their country, outside the country na hindi U.S. resident. At was ang tax pag may revenue sila from views in the U.S. So, yun. Nangyayari ito kasi may mga viewers tayo from in the U.S. At dahil nag-generate tayo ng income from the views, coming from them. Kaya, required silang kunin ang ating information. May i-tax nila yun. Let's go to the next stop, mga kasinan. Ano ang mangyayari sa earnings ko? How will it impact our earnings? So, yes, malaki yung impact nito sa earnings natin kasi from the usual income or revenue that we generate on views coming from the US or yeah, coming from their country in the US na we receive it solely. So, atin lahat yun. Yung revenue na yun dati. Magkakaroon na siya ng tax, which is a deduction, basically. So, mababawasan na yung ating earnings from US views. That's the impact. Pero, it's something that we can adjust makaka-adjust tayo dyan. Tayo pa ba, mga kasingali? Kaya-kaya natin yan. Okay, as long as we're doing our part, do the necessary requirements na binibigay ni, ni YouTube sa atin, and we do our part in making the world a better place. <laughs> I don't see any problem with that. So, just comply for now, and of course, para rin naman sa atin to. And I hope everyone, I wish everyone all the best in their YouTube channels. 
Okay, just follow the steps in this video. And I appreciate you watching this. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe and comment below lang kung may mga itutulong ako. I'd be happy to respond to your inquiries kung may mga katanungan pa kayo. Thank you so much mga kasingaling. Till next time.